Hey there guys, Wolf Team 2008 here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use Qt PDF Writer to create your own PDF documents. So first of all what we want to do is we want to go to our web browser, in my case it's Google Chrome and you want to go to this web address cutepdf.com forward slash products forward slash cutepdf forward slash writer dot asp this link will be in the video description just below the video player so check it out right this writer acts as a virtual printer to enable you to print any document to a pdf so is what we want to do is we want to go on this link here free download just wait for it to download now that it's downloaded we can go ahead and open it or run it if you get any security warnings please accept and press run and I want to allow it to install so just minimize, minimize your web browser for a minute this is the installation just press next agree to the T's and C's press next if you want to go ahead and install the um, toolbar go ahead but if you don't Well, saying that, it installs the toolbar automatically, but it can be removed at any point. But if you want Ask to become your default search browser, default search engine, sorry, keep these checked. If not, otherwise untick them. I've unticked them because I don't like Ask. Click Install. Just completing the setup. Now it needs this converting order to work, so please press yes. You will be have to be connected to the internet, of course. This tool is also great for splitting down pre-made PDFs. Currently with Adobe you can only do that with Adobe Acrobat Pro. However this enables you to do it for free. So that is beautiful. As you can see it's installed the editor toolbar. I don't want that. So all I have to do is close my web browser go to the control panel click on programs programs and features and find these two choices cute PDF editor so I'm gonna remove the updater first and then the toolbar this is completely separate from the writer program as you can see it's there separately 3.0 right that's the toolbar gone now we can go back to our web browser and I'm going to show you a pre-made PDF that I just want to print sections from but keep it as a PDF so this is on edxl.com and it's a BTEC level 2 course specification for a well for the edxl BTEC level 2 certificate extended diploma extended certificate sorry or the full diploma in information technology this document is just short of 350 pages long and I aren't gonna need all of these because it includes every single unit within a course when in reality I may be only doing four or five so 
let's say I wanted to just take computer hardware out this is what I can do I need to click on go down here print and the destination change it to cute PDF writer I'll load it in color or black and white whichever you choose then you have an option to print all of it to a PDF which you don't need to do because you could just download it or you can print a custom range of pages so first of all I need to find the computer hardware section now on here it says it's page 87 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to it and I'm going to bring the camera back in. Okay, so I'm there. Page 93 is my start point. And then I want to go to the end of this unit, which is 102. So if I do... 93 to 102 just check that yep that works fine so what I can do now is I can press print as you can see it says there's one document pending And choose your save location I'm going to just keep it on my desktop and I'm going to keep the file name exactly the same I'm going to press save I can now close my browser and here is my PDF beautiful now something that you might notice or you may not notice is if you have if you have this box checked enhanced thin lines your um, PDF will look a bit like this every L or capital I it will make it bold which is not very good so if that happens just go to edit preferences and remove the tick in this box press OK it's back to normal So thank you for watching this video guys. My name is WolfTM2008. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Bye bye. Yes, I know what you're thinking. You're waiting for the wolf howl and the copyright notice, but not this time. I have made myself a Facebook page. So it would mean a lot to me if you could go over to facebook.com and search for Wolf TM 2008 channel in the search bar and just like the page. Thank you very much, guys. Now you're going to hear the wolf howl, okay? Bye bye.